Hey guys, uh, Vlad Trifa here, I'm the Chief Product Officer at Ambrosis and today I just want to show you how to set up your uh, environment so you can run Ambrosis Masternodes. So um, most of you might have noticed already we have just released a new tool uh, publicly on our GitHub which is called NOP. NOP standing for Node Onboarding Package. So it's right here on our GitHub, Ambrosus slash Ambrosus NOP. Here you have the documentation. And what I'm going to do now is just walk you through how you can set up a virtual machine from scratch uh, so that you will be able to, to, to run NOP. Uh, but let's begin with setting up the, the machine first. If you want to use Amazon Web Services here, you will be able uh, to to get a machine, a virtual machine that is uh, that is ready made, um, that you can just use with everything set up, and you won't need to to install all the tooling which I'm going to show you today. What I want to show you instead is how do you set up everything from scratch if you want to use something else than AWS. And specifically, I'm going to show you that on DigitalOcean how that works. So. For that, the first thing you need to understand, I'm going to show you the, the general processes before going into NOP and into the, the Hermes atlases and so on. Uh, because the process is essentially the same, the tooling essentially is the same, it's just the different ports that are being used depending on uh, what type of node you have. So um, the first thing what I would recommend is I'll do this example with DigitalOcean. I'll show you how you can set up a virtual machine from there. First, we will be onboarding on test just to get everyone familiar. And that's really my encouragement is start on test, see how things work. Um, and once you get the confidence uh, that everything is working as planned, then you would be able to, to move on with uh, with the mainnet. So uh, this is something that anyone can do. Um, so the, the first thing we're going to do is just create a virtual machine in DigitalOcean. So I've created an account, um, you know, we're not getting any referrals is if you use them, uh, but I think it's it's pretty good service. So the first thing, once you have created your account and, and given your, your credit card for, for, for paying that, then the first thing you do is you create a droplet. So uh, a droplet it is essentially a, a, a virtual machine, uh, if you want. We're going to select Ubuntu. Uh, I'll take the latest uh, stable version here. Uh, many people have been asking what's the, the machine size that you would need. Uh, what I would recommend to, to begin with, um, just uh, you know, given the, the initial um, uh, usage of, of network on test would be to go um, for a small machine. Here I'm showing specifically for um, uh, for both Apollo and Atlases. Obviously, when you will be running an Atlas node, you will need a lot more um, storage because you will be storing a lot more bundles. Uh, but we'll we'll look that in a in a subsequent demo. So I'd suggest you to go with this simple one uh, for uh, for an Apollo, uh, for example. Um, two gigabytes, one CPU, two terabytes transfer, 50 gigabytes of disk, that's 10 bucks a month. That should be more than enough uh, uh, for now, at least to run your first version. Technically, you can run with the, with the first one as well, but we just want to have a little bit of, a, of extra RAM. Um, now you can use backups if you want to do, uh, it can be useful. Here you have the chance to uh, set up which region you want uh, your node to be. Um, so let's create one, for example, in Bangalore. Um, we're not going to use block storage or backups for now. Those are things that could come uh, later. The only thing I'm going to do, uh, normally when you set up a virtual machine, you can log in with a username um, and a password that will be emailed to you. You can use that. A uh, slightly safer way to do it is to use SSH key. So I've created that in advance. Uh, it's just easier um, to show the demo, but you can use either way. So. Here, I'm going to set up my key. Um, here, that was the public key you've seen. One droplet. Here, I'm going to name it. Um, host name, it's going to be demo testnet. Uh, and we're going to call it, uh, for example, for an Apollo. Atlas would be essentially the same project. So here I can create uh, one of the two projects. I'm just going to use on Amtest. So I've created those projects in advance. Um, and I'm going to create that virtual machine. Uh, it will take me a few seconds. 
So as you can see now, the machine has started. So I have the IP address uh, here. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to SSH into the machine here. Yes, I have to accept this new key and I'm connecting to the machine. Voila. So as you can see here, I'm logging as root in the machine and I will be able to, to show you how do we set up. So the, the process here is simply follow, uh, follow through here. Uh, all of that is documented, by the way, in the, in the GitHub. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set up a bunch of tools uh, to make sure that Nop will be able to run properly. So the first one, you know, just up apt-get uh, that updates all the packages. Uh, so you can see the, the reason I wanted to make a video is that if you're not familiar with that or if you're not exactly sure what you're doing, um, I wanted to show you the kind of uh, messages that come out. I think it's much easier in a video than uh, just in code because many of those commands when you install stuff, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out um, as messages so you never know what to do. So now I'm going to install a pip uh, which is a Python tool that's going to be used down the line. Yes, I want to install it. Uh, again, downloading a bunch of stuff, loading that. In the meanwhile, preparing next command. It's just a bunch of things that you have to that you have to do. Um, so each one of those is a line uh, essentially, and you just have to type one after the other in your terminal. Uh, I'm using iterm just because it's nicer. Um, so we're waiting. just downloading a bunch of packages. Here we go. I'm going to type the next one. Here we go. Boom. So you can see that the next thing here, it's even telling me the next command to type. Here I'm preparing essentially Node.js. I'm going to install Node.js here. It will take one. So sometimes you might see some warnings, some, some messages. In general, unless you see very clearly error, um, you shouldn't get any of those. So here what I've been doing is I've done that on a fresh instance on DigitalOcean. So if you take, uh, if you followed what I've done uh, until now, you should have essentially the same messages as, as I'm doing. Um, so the opt install git, and I'm now going to install GitHub. Uh, now I'm going to install some certificate stuff here. Here, yes, common certificates for HTTPS. Again, you have those warnings. Don't have to worry much about them. They're just warnings. Um, here, next one. The general JPG package. Okay, we're done. Now I'm going to install Yorn, which is for node applications with npm, okay, added, you know, you have okays, you have those confirmations, most of those messages sound pretty good to me. Uh, this here, I'm getting ready to install Docker. Here, now let's update apt. Here we go. And now I'm going to be able to, to install Docker. So basically, if you take the, the ready-made virtual machines on uh, AWS, you don't need to, to do all of those steps because we've done them already there. You'll be able to just uh, download, um, download um, the, the latest version of, uh, uh, of NOP and run it. Do you want to continue? Yes. So now I'm downloading and installing Docker. I'm going to take this one. It's a pretty long line, as you can tell. So make sure you scroll and you take the entire line. I'm going to install Docker Compose. So Docker has been installed, it looks like. And I'm going to just install Docker Compose here. So technically, you can do those steps in any in any Linux-based computer. We've shown uh, here for for Ubuntu, um, but if you have any issues on other, uh, let us know. We'll try to see uh, what we can help you with. Um, but we we'll recommend to use these these processes. That's the one we've set up so far. 
downloading installing the last thing I'm gonna do that's the last one just make double compose executable so every time you see again the terminal appearing means you've done something right good so now you should be pretty much set so let's see if docker is running all fine here that's what we're seeing docker service it's active it's running so it looks like we're pretty good um, so that's it now uh, we've set up all the prerequisites for running nope uh, this will be obviously exactly the same for uh, Apollo Atlas nodes uh, Hermes nodes um, it's exactly the same and in, in a few seconds I'll show you how to set up uh, um, an Apollo node.